Hi everyone. So this is the day three pre-class session. Okay, so uh, in this session, I'll be discussing about mathematical and comparison operator with conditional. Okay, so we'll see what are the different uh, mathematical operation which we can do in Java also with conditional. So I'll be covering uh, like just an overview of all the topic so that you will get an idea ki what we'll be going to learn in the like day three session. So uh, what I'll do, I'll just go to the next page. Okay, so basically if I talk about mathematical operation, if I talk about mathematical operation, what are the mathematical operations which we can do in Java? So the, the first one is like addition, subtraction, third is multiplication, Fourth is division. Fifth is module. So now let's see each of these operations one by one. So when I'm talking about addition, addition is something how we can write like with plus sign. If we want to do subtraction, minus. In multiplication, that is this multiplication sign. Division is something like this. And if I'm talking about modulo, modulo basically means, modulo means finding the remainder, finding the remainder. If you have to remainder, so basically you will do this, you will apply this modulo, which is with this sign, percentage kind of, like which we generally in maths, we used to call it percentage. Now, uh, suppose if uh, you want to perform some kind of action, if you have to perform some operation, so suppose uh, like if I'm saying uh, the price of price of you can say that price of a toy. Okay. If the price of a toy is 20 rupees. Okay. And now here I'm saying int. Int. If price of toy is this int. If price of is 40 rupees then in that case if I want to find the total price then how will I find it total underscore price so I will write in this fashion where price of toy plus price of pen equals to basically 20 plus 40 that will be basically here i'll not write in this way like in programming sorry so after that what i'll do is system dot out dot print ln dot print ln that is comes to be our total price so this will give my output in similar fashion we can do addition uh, we can do subtraction multiplication and all so if i just show you now here what I'll do, I'll go to the desktop and now here this is my replit. I'll create the REPL and here I'll type Java. Java is something like day three, three class mathematical and comparison. Okay, so basically this is the session. Now what I'll do is I'll create the REPL. Now if I create the REPL, now uh, you can see this, like this is my main function. I'll just remove all of this code. And here what I'll do, I'll declare two variables. Now here I'll declare two variables. Int A, okay. Now A is 50. Int B is you can say that 20 okay or you can say that five. suppose if i'm saying five now if i want to do the addition so what i'll do is int my add value so add value will equal to a plus b 
if I do subtraction, so subtraction will be a minus b. If I want to do multiplication, so I'm declaring the same variable a into b. If I want to find the division, so division will be a division by b. If I want to find the modulus, then in that case, it will give a modulus b. So in that case, you can see that a plus b, a minus b. So here I can see this, here I can say that, like if I want to print this value, so I'll just copy this, paste it four, five times, okay? So this is five times I have done it, add, now then I'll just do sub, then I'll do mul, duplication for multiplication, then I'll do div, and then I'll do mod. So now if I want to run this code, then what I'll do, I'll write Java, and then I will write main dot job. Now if I enter, if I just press enter, now let's see what will happen. Now it is saying that like there is an error. So you need to make this habit to read the errors. Okay. So it is saying reach end of the file while parsing. So it is showing me the sign. Okay. So there is some mistake. It's something like the bracket of this is the closing one. This is the ending one. But the closing of this one is doesn't exist. So I need to put a another bracket so that I'll complete the combination. Because this ghar yahan se shuru hua, yahan pe khatam hua. Iska ghar yahan se shuru hua, iska ghar yahan pe khatam hua. Now, if I run this, so basically what will happen? Uh, now let's see what will be the output. So now you can see that it is giving me this output. How this output is coming? So now let's see. So basically, if I just annotate and I put a pen, so you can see that A plus B, that is 50 plus 5, that will give 55. Always remember our code execute from top to down. So it will come, come to this point first, then second, then it will calculate A plus B, 55, 55 will go on inside add. So my add is 50 minus 50 minus 5, that will be 45. A into B, 50 into 5, that will be 250. 50 divided by 5, that will be 10, okay? And A modulus B, 50 modulus 5. What it means is 50 modulus 5, that means remainder. So, what do you have to do? 50 ko divide karna 5. Se. 5, 10, ja, 50. Now, the remainder is 0. So, basically, the output will be 0. Because 50 mod 5, that means 50 divided by 5, then you need to find the remainder. It is actually giving me the remainder value. So this is the final output. That's how it is coming. Now, if I come to this place and if I write addition is so that like it will look good. That's why I'm writing in this fashion. So addition is so basically now I'll put a plus. Plus means basically I'm joining these two things. I'm joining these two things. So I'll write this and then I put this. Then I'll write here this, then I'll write here this, then in this place. So addition is, now I'll write subtraction is, now I'll put division is, no sorry, multiplication is, addition is, and then I'll, I'll add division is, and then I'll do remainder is remainder is. So this is how my output is coming. Now, suppose if I want to clear the screen, you can see a delete button here. So if I just click and now if you want to run the previous command, just press the up arrow key. When you will press the up arrow key, automatically the previous command will come. Now if I run it, now let's see what will happen. Now let's see what will happen. Now you can see that my output is coming in this session. So this is something like looking beautiful. Now I want to tell you something very interesting. So for that, I'll create another problem that will be problem one dot Java. Okay. So now uh, in previous session, I was talking about the data type. I in previous session, I have told data type. Ke mein okay. So now uh, here I want to share a few things with you that mathematically, like if you divide 9 divided by 2, the result which it will give me is 4. 4. 
but in real like you know that like if you make the division uh, like if in real if you make the uh, division the output is actually 4.5 so now let's see if I'm doing this, then what is the output which it, which it, it will give me? So I'm removing everything. Suppose here I'm removing everything. And here I'll do, here I'll remove this part also. And here I will put directly 9 divided by 2. Automatically it will do the thing, 9 divided by 2. I can also do in this way, int x. So what I'll do is, I'll put, I'll write here int x equals to 9 divided by 2. Now, if I print x, now, can you guess the value? Ab guess kar paoge? Like, what is the value which you will be getting? Now, suppose if I am running this, now let's see what will be the output. You can see this, uh, sorry, uh, here I am executing the wrong code. Uh, actually, this will be problem one. Problem one. And now, if I am executing here, so I just need to replace it with by problem was now if i run it now let's see what will happen problem one dot java so you can see the output is coming but it should be 4.5 now but why the output is coming for kaise kaha kyun because the reason is that i am actually you need to understand one thing when i'm talking about integers integer can only hold integer values so basically when you will do the division so when output 4.5 aayega to wo kya karega 4.5 me se 4 nikal dega bolega kyunki i can only hold integers sorry i can't hold that but if suppose i am using another data type that is suppose double double there is also one more data type that is float which can hold uh, like decimal values so suppose if i am writing this and instead of this suppose if i am writing this float x equals to n by 2 or what I'll do is I'll print I'll just write in the below and instead of int suppose if I'm writing float and the float something I need to declare another variable and here I'll copy it now let's see what will be the value of both so basically if I run it uh, so if I run it now let's see what will be the output Now, can you see the magic 4.0 it is giving me. Okay, so basically now what is happening here? It is actually giving me 4.0. Up the main issue here is why I'm not getting 4.5. Why it is giving me 4.0? Because the reason is now let's I'll explain you the reason. Can you guess it? Like, uh, can you imagine why it is happening? Dekho, jab hum kisi integer ko, when I will divide any integer with any integer then in that case, my output will be integer only. But when I'm writing in this way, like float x equals to 9 by 2. Now what is happening here? Just imagine this is an integer. This is an integer. Now how your system will work is what it will do. It will divide the 9 by 2 first. It will divide a 9 by 2 first, which are like both are integer. Now the output will be 4. Now the final output which will come is 4 from it. Now after doing the division, now it needs to store that value into x. Now it needs to store x. Ko store karna hai. Basically, the division operation will When the division operation will happen, that operation will happen is happening between integer like variable. And when that division will happen, it will give me 4. Okay, fine. But after it will get calculated, now this 4 need to put inside x. And what is the type of float of x? That is float. So what it will do is it will say that bhai ye nahi lag raha, ye integer lag raha hai. To isko hum 4.0 kar dete. Iska matlab pehle usne first it did the integer division. First it did the integer division. And after doing the division, now we are actually when we are storing that value, then it is checking that okay, in which box you are putting me in. So that is a float one. So you uh, we need to do it. Now then how can I get 4.5 then? So basically at the time of division. So previously I'm doing in this way. So what I need to do, I need to do in this way, something like this float division by integer. So if the float is something like a big ground, when I used to talk about float or integer, the float can carry like large values because that's why it can carry decimal also. Na? So float is something like a big brother. 
integer is something like a like smaller brother so basically if you divide flow by float by int the result will be float when you will divide float with float then the result will be float so this is the beauty of it even if you divide int with float even then your division will be it will give float always the big brother will dominate always the big brother will dominate now if i come here then how can i make it float right now you can see this like uh, this is something like a integer value so if i want to change it float then just put 9.2 now let's see what will be the output now if i just do this So basically what it is doing is, okay. So basically instead of it, I need to use the double, sorry, another data type. Okay. I need to use here this double. So there is some issue is happening with the conversion. Now you can see that I am getting this value 4.5. How? Because I am dividing this value with this one. So basically Abhi, for right now, you can forget the float. Okay float i'll tell you in the class but the point here is when this division is happening so what it what is happening is it is considering this value it is considering this value as double basically it is considering this value as double so when i'm writing 2.0 so this is something like a representation of a double and double is a you can say that double is a big brother double is greater than float in terms of uh, in terms of like holding values so double can hold larger values double is greater than float float is greater than int so when i used to represent something like 2.0 or something so this is something like a property of a float but now the question is if we are representing double with two point uh, like in this manner like any decimal values like 2.45 2.75 then how we can represent float Float we cannot write directly in this manner. Even like double can hold longer values. If you just write a million, like a very bigger value, not double can hold. But how we can represent float? So, so there is a convention, there is a rule if you are writing float value. So for float, you need to write F. So whenever you are writing any decimal values, make sure to put F. So now let's see one thing here. So basically if I 9.0, if I put F here, so now in that case, what will happen? Uh, let's see what will happen. Now, if I just run it, okay. Now, if I just run it, let's see what will happen. What will be the output? Mm -hmm. So uh, like I'm, here I'm executing the code. So just focus on the second value Y. So now Y is giving 4.5. Why? Because this is a floating value and it is doing the division with two, then it will give me a floating value also like 4.5. Now that 4.5 we are storing into a bigger storage. So this is something like a big drum. Double you can consider like a big drum. So double is something like a double is something like a bigger drum. It is something like a little smaller drum which can hold decimal values and it is something like a smaller drum. Integer can they cannot hold decimal values. So the so since double is a bigger drum that can hold floating value. So that is fine. But if I remove this F, now this becomes a double. This becomes a double data type. Now you know that double data type is a larger one. And if you try to put the double value, the double value inside a float one, now you know that the bigger drum cannot come inside this float. So if you just execute this code, now let's suppose if I'm executing this code, so this will give me this output. Now let's see what will be the output. Now it is giving me a error so this was the error which it which it was giving earlier so the error is saying incompatible types possible lossy conversion conver, conversion from lossy to float why it is saying incompatible types because you cannot put the double value inside float you cannot put the bigger drum inside a smaller drum so this is something like a property. This is something like a like uh, the different kind of data type which they have provided. So we'll be talking about a lot more in this during our uh, live session. So uh, I hope you understood few things from this uh, like from this pre-class video, and we'll uh, discuss a lot on this part. Yeah, thank you, uh, everyone. Yeah.